Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Elise control. We got Spooky Swain here. We have, um, you know, even Spider Swain, we could call it also. You know, we got all these spiders in here and the spiders do a good job of slowing the game down and allowing us to set up um, our like Leviathan plus Swain late game. Um, that's really what the spiders are doing in here. Uh, they also, you know, like, of course, you have, like, a Rachnoid Sentry that does the stun, which you have the stun um, Ravenous Flock combo, which is awesome. Ravenous Flock's also just better in this deck because you can just block with Hapless Aristocrat and House Spider and things like that um, and easily block with those and set up your Ravenous Flock, too. And plus, it gives you just a whole bunch of bodies for Noxion Fervor. So we have, we're going to be leveling up our Swain super fast. You know, Withering Whale, Grass the Undying, those all level up our Swain. Now, when we do have a leveled up Swain, you know how your opponents can have like three. There's a lot of three power things just in general. Like there's a lot of three threes, a lot of three twos. Like three power is a super common um, stat line. And therefore, like all those things can block Swain. Um, Frenzied Skitter could combine with Swain to allow our Swain to help get through. Against all those three power things, we play a Skitter. Now they don't get to block. Um, maybe that helps our Swain get through. That could be pretty interesting to uh, try out. But yeah, so we got Spooky Swain here. Looks pretty cool. Let's go play five games over in ranked. Let's see how we do. And try to get some points back. Yeah, I could definitely see playing three Leviathans in this deck. That was... That was uh, something I kind of noticed too was that maybe this should be a three Leviathan deck, but well, there's just the two. We'll give it a try. We're going to get rid of these. Hello. Um... So Timo Z probably pretty aggressive with smaller units. I like the Withering Whale. That's a good one. I think my opponent was BMing. We could use a bite. All right, so we'll just go straight to attacks. If they have Zed, then I'll go Noxion Fervor on the one one, kill the Zed. They don't. Hang on, Fuzzball. Um, right. guess I. It's either a Sentry or a Skitter. I guess I'd just play a. Sentry. Could save the mana. Ah, such pretty poison. First step's the hardest. More one health things. I mean, this just looks like a perfect Withering Whale. Just gonna be getting rid of all of those. <laughs> there you go, okay. I like Retreat with Teemo. That's pretty cool. The stream's laggy for y'all. Must be the upload. I started uploading the Bannerman Zed. Must be that upload is really affecting it. So I'm sorry. It will be... Should be done in just a couple of minutes. Okay, the audio is okay. All right, so yeah, it says it has three minutes left. I'm sorry about that. I should have just waited till after the stream to upload. My bad. My bad. Mm -hmm. 
It's at 75% completed now. Eyes open. Watch the branches. I know that I'm not getting, like, the spider. I could, like, not attack with one of these other spiders and get the 1-1, one, one, but I'd rather just attack with the 2-1. I'll take care of this. It will be done. You dare. Protect each other. Yeah, lag should be gone in two minutes. I'm sorry about that. My true beauty is beneath the skin. It hasn't really been been bad recently whenever I upload, but I guess this time it is. And I'm sorry. The dark beckons. See the world through new eyes. Yeah, that Bannerman deck. All right, well, Elise with Wither Whales. That worked out very well. The Fearsome and Withering Whales and stuff like that, like, that's pretty good against Elusives. Yeah, Double Whale definitely, uh, definitely helped. It says it has 34 seconds left. 28 seconds left. Almost done. All right, so good first win. Going to be a good match if our cards lined up. We had a great hand. You know, everything about our deck looked really solid that first game. Seven seconds. Okay, done. Okay, y'all are saying it's already good. Um. Yeah, we'll just keep this hand. Vile Feast, good against Fizz. Um, Hapless Aristocrat's good here at dying to make it rain or twisted fate red card and turning into a spider also good at blocking those immediately I'd follow you anywhere. of course you would a game go on then we're gonna have the other one one attacking any way that they'll be able to block with pool shark so it just makes sense to attack with hapless aristocrat as well Instead, like you know, they just drew an extra card with Pool Shark. We'll see if they're able to cast it. Doesn't okay, they discard it to rummage. Oh, uh, they discarded it. was a twisted fate. Wow, it was a twisted fate. Um. I just vile feast my hapless aristocrats. We must all make sacrifice. Then play crawling sensation. My true beauty is beneath the skin.
like just having a leveled up Elise. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. I want to stun on their turn. That's a good card. have to challenge this fizz um i would love for them to play a spell to in response to that you know i basically just want them to spend their mana cool so just one mana left I'm gonna use it here here. Nope. Okay, good. Okay. Good sign. Gotta do nine damage to me next turn. That can't be too easy to do nine damage next turn, but... I mean, it's certainly possible. There's Deal me in. a variety of cards that could do a total of 9 damage to me. So it's certainly possible. No, and I'm glad... No, it's it's just too, too rough against Twisted Fate to play Skitter first. I'm glad I didn't. If I played Skitter first, they just red card and kill all those things. You'll fight or you'll swim! Could ruination here. We'll see if we'll see if they Victory is at hand! <laughs> you know it, Shelly! Don't mind a ruination. Is that four out of six? See, both of our things are fierce. I mean, I think that's just the best play. Grog if you work, burn if you don't. Double back for the next kill. Not looking as good. Another petty officer. All right, GG's. Didn't have the blockers. Be able to save damage against the Leviathan. Ooh, we earned something. What did we earn? Into my trap. What character is that supposed to be? Right. Anybody know? Who's this?
Raven Zed. I will keep it. Y'all th think this is Thrash? Is that what you're saying? You think this is Thrash right here? Okay, that is that is Spirit Blossom Thrash. No, I didn't see the Yone cinematic. Had some epic fights. <laughs> All three of these emotes are like the exact same thing, basically. want to kill this Draven. Alright, let's we'll check out the cinematic. That's interesting though, somebody said just a little bit ago, um, I've had saying that maybe they could have the cards having activated abilities where you could use your mana on, on things that were in play. That could be a cool future addition to the game. And I, I could see that, that could be pretty cool. trade my 3-2 for their 1-mana 2-1. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't even be attacking with the 2-2 either. So probably like trade with the 2-2 and then we'll draw Withering Whale. And then feel bad about it. Yeah, opponents really taking their time. There's a win.
Lair Swain's already 10 out of 12 level up after just two cards, after an Auction Fervor and a Ravenous Flock. I think I gotta kill the bookie. So yeah, that bookie with the Draven is going to be giving them quite the card advantage. Do not fear the shrouded path. My plan, of course, is Ruination. Watch and learn. Yeah, I'm out of play. Yeah, Draven and Bookie together is awesome. Had some some good fun with that place? with um Had some fun with that. Sorry, with. Uh, uh, Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate, Draven, Arena Bookie. I'm sorry, that took me a while. Um, you know, like that first day. That was. That was a lot of fun. We still have seven mana. We're basically even on cards four and four. Draven time. They're pulling their third Draven to the front now. Destination in sight. Draven, I love you. Me too, kiddo. I hope they don't have another arena bookie. Figured they'll play something. Could file feast the six two. Time for the money makers. Also in response. They're going to kill the Leviathan. But they're down to not much else. Just two cards. We got three cards. What's my name? I wasn't a Draven's Whirling Death because this is the third Draven. We've killed the other two. So we've killed two two Zeds, killed two Dravens. We each hold a world within. Breathe in, breathe out. Victory 
excuses for war. <laughs> that was a just a that was a crazy animation and sequence. Um perish. Do need to uh, it's an okay attack. They're probably gonna spinning axe the two one lifesteal and block with that. You know, the least gets the spinning axes out of there and you know I'm, that's three health on my swain. I think that's okay. This thing's a 4-6? How do I deal with this thing? So I could kill Kato, but if I kill Kato, how do I deal with this? Is it better just to do 4 damage to this thing? Just stun this so it doesn't get to attack and turn that into a 4-2. No, it's probably better to kill Kato. Yeah, Leviathan's our best draw. There's only one other Leviathan in the deck. But it is our best draw. We are at war. Keep them nothing. We are at war. I could definitely see this being a three Leviathan deck. For sure. Don't know if there's any difference math wise between one health and two health as far as blocking goes. play a glimpse beyond even before this you know like they just the they, all that was burst speed looks like i i should have done the horns of the dragon i i definitely thought about doing the horns of the dragon turning that thing into a four six but i mean i guess i should have attacked with the swain and traded swain and ravenous flock for that thing i guess that's what i need to do is trade swain away Oh well. I think the biggest thing that I shouldn't have done that game was just block at all with Leviathan. You know, like the it turned out, you know, like they had like the whirling death that, that that's what allowed them to kill the Leviathan. But if, if I just don't even block with Leviathan, I, I was at 20 
you know, and, and I was going to be killing the other things also. I had plenty of life to work with, and then I could have, you know, dropped, um, you know, dropping Swain afterwards. Uh, I think that's what I... That's basically what I messed up there. Not even blocking with the O3. A little surprised the O3 didn't block that. The rot must be cut away. I sure don't. I sure hope they don't have another dread treasures. Good. You think we'd seek to? Fetch or perish. Don't have vengeance. No. Oh. Or that. It's worth the ravenous flock on that thing. Hey, what's up, I'm Nutter? Thank you so much. Yeah, these glimpse beyonds have been a little late, haven't they? Been a little late. That certainly didn't work. Order, sir, bring forth our army. Alright, 23 cards left. Do I want to attack him with Skitter and then... Yes, I guess I do. They block with either the 4-4 or the 7-5 and then I Ravenous Flock, whatever they block. Um, 
Um, I guess I don't have to yet. Artillery barrage! We're still stunning Maokai, which is the important thing. Oh, wait, we're not stunning anything. Protect our grove! At least they don't have they don't have room to get eight eight fearsomes. At least not yet. Yeah, the Withering Will cast it. Or you're just saying, like, the previous turn? Yeah, like, if I would have done it the previous turn. So we'll stun these three, go straight to combat. Glad we drew this vengeance. That was a pretty clutch vengeance draw. It's double atrocity. Praise the Noctora. That was close. All right, three and one. Three and one. And yeah, like that that one loss definitely felt like it could have been a win. <laughs> Perfect emote. Okay, Draven Ezreal. I haven't seen Draven Ezreal in a while. I'm going to keep Grass 3 Undying, because Grass 3 Undying does kill both of the champions. And so therefore, I'm going to keep it. Yeah, it could be 4-0. Definitely. But... I'm not. I. Uh, you know, we definitely could have lost that game. Could have won the the previous one. You know, we are currently three and one. Definitely thought that I play Elise, they kill Elise immediately. And I kind of wanted to set up, like, you know, a glimpse beyond to respond to it or anything similar. 
Yeah, I mean, I think that's worth it. I would, if I'm on their side, I think it's worth playing a gotcha to take out two things, you know, instead of having me draw two cards. I think that's probably worth it. I think it's a good play. I mean, gotcha is a little bit more more expensive. You know, you'd be hoping to have like a static shock or a mystic shot or things like that. My beautiful face. Future releases will be leveled up as well. They got a lot of cards over there. The previous, if you're saying, why didn't I play the Elise the previous turn? Because they still had the three mana. You know, like they hadn't played the Arachnoid Sentry yet. They played that after I played my House Spider. So they still had the three mana. No, I'm not just going for lethal. Their their decks all built on removal. Like they'll they'll have removal for these things. I want I want to actually trade and make good trades. Force them to make the worst blocks possible. Down to one. Our deck could do one point of damage, right? We could figure out how to do one damage. I have the best job. Feel like we could figure out how to do one damage somewhere. Raven. Alright, so kill the two Dravens. Kill the zero Ezreals. Time for a true display of skill. Um Watching The Urchin's not a worry. Urchin can't block. As long as we have can't stop me. Spider Queen Elise in play. Sure. 
Nah, see, they, they had all these Mystic Shots in hand. I didn't just miss Lethal. They would have just used Mystic Shots, and then we would have made a lot worse. Things happen during combat. Leviathan. Hmm. It's going to be difficult to pull off. That Noxian Fervor, because they'll just kill my unit in response. It's going to be difficult to pull off. Bunch of stuff. Nope, no harrowing. We do have Leviathan. The fuse. Wayne. important little spider in history. <laughs> That's seven out of eight for Ezreal. So they got three cards left. I got two. Yuck. Let's draw an eight mana card. I'm glad that the, the Noxian Guillotine arrived. is out of here. Um... Guess I stun this. I wait till my turn and stun it. Yeah, I could pass then stun on my turn. It's their last Draven. We've killed the other ones. Thank <laughs> you. 
your name on it. cards kill anything. That's a card to kill something. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. They have 14 cards left in the, their deck. I have 22 left in mine. This will be the second Ezreal dead. We've killed two Draven. No way. Now two Ezreals. Uh, it's Draven time. Looking good, kid. Yeah, we have we have a nine percent chance to draw Leviathan, right? Two two out of twenty two, one out of eleven, nine percent. I'm hoping their last Ezreal is their last card. What are the chances of that? Their last Ezreal is their last card. Last rummage. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Withering whale, you still do nothing. Axes coming right up. All right, now we have a ten percent chance. Two out of twenty. Six cards left. I got 18. Alright, that... That's gotta be game. Yeah, it's just all burst speed now. Yeah, I can't... I can't stop them from killing me. Yeah, I mean, I, I could just sit back and, I mean, I guess, it, like, how's the double fervor ever going to, like, how's it going to get better with double fervor whenever I have, I have no other units anywhere in hand, you know, we'd never know if we'll draw, you know, like, when we'll draw another unit, if we will, they will just be able to stockpile more removal, it's not like that removal is going anywhere, um, Um, I kind of wish I didn't play the Swain when I did. 
because I was probably going to be playing Ruination anyway. I wish it would have Ruination before I played Swain. It wouldn't have really changed anything. Um. Yeah, so... Yeah, so I, I was supposed to just wait. Yeah, I mean, we didn't we didn't know we'd be drawing that, but um, yeah. Anyway, I could definitely see playing three Leviathans in this deck. This this certainly seems like a three Leviathan deck. Um, and honestly, this probably shouldn't be all these Withering Whales. Um, it was great. We did play against. I mean, we did play against some small unit decks, and it was great. But there's, you know, when you think about like Frostbite mid range is the biggest deck right now. Um, there's just a lot of decks where Withering Whale is not that good, and the the matchups where Withering Whale is good. I mean, we have Withering Whale and Vile Feast, and all these small blockers. It seems like like the our deck is amazing against small unit decks, but it's just it's maybe too much. Um, it's maybe just too tuned for aggro, um, and the small unit decks. But we did we did get paired against some of those, and we were and you know our deck was amazing against them. Um, that's what it kind of seemed like. Uh, but there we go. Uh, we, we need more Blade's Edge for when our opponent stabilizes at one. Need more of those. <laughs> All right, anyway, that was Swain Elise Control. Pretty fun deck there. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.